So this video is to uh, get the fuel system specifically running on this bike, uh, which we're going to take the tank off and clean it, um, take the carb off, take the air cleaner off, put new fuel lines, new pedcock, um, and how to clean them on a budget. Like I said, we're trying to keep this bike under $250 total um, for everything to get it running. So we're gonna do some tricks that are uh, cost effective, like for the gas tank and a few other things. So go ahead and watch the first part of this video is gonna be about how to get the tank and the seat and the carbs off so we can go ahead and clean them. Remove two 10 millimeter nuts from under the seat directly above the bolt holding the rear fender on. These are the only two bolts holding the tank on. After removing the fuel lines, the tank should slide off. Then remove the upper and lower bolts that hold the air cleaner assembly on. Also remove the two bolts at the base of the intake manifold. Finally, unscrew the top of the carb. Be aware the lid is spring loaded you can pull the slide out once the cap is off. So once you uh, unscrew that top piece, you'll be able to just pull the whole slide out and then the uh, throttle cable is right there. You just push it down and uh, you see that right there and you just pull it out the end and it'll come off. So to see the actual carb assembly and the installation, click on the, the uh, card that's on top uh, to see the video about all the things I had to do to get this eBay card to fit. So this is the gas tank off of the uh, CL90. Um, I drained it and it looked like somebody tried to put gas in it recently, so it sat in there mixed with the, uh, the old gas. So I drained all that, properly disposed of it, of course. But what we're gonna do now is if you look down inside, you can see there's some rust down in there. So we're gonna try to do an uh, old trick with apple or with vinegar. You're supposed to use apple cider, but I don't have apple cider. And because I have white vinegar, we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with some white vinegar and uh, let it sit for uh, 48 hours. So now that I've uh, emptied the whole bottle of distilled white vinegar, so the, the purpose of what we're gonna do over the next while is every about 20 hours, 24 hours, we're gonna rotate this tank so that the vinegar can sit on that spot for that amount of time. So I'm gonna leave this overnight and then uh, start every couple, you know, every day I'll flip it to another side. So now that this tank has been sitting for 24 hours on the bottom and on each side, uh, the vinegar's done a lot of work in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some pea gravel in there that I've already cleaned get all the dirt off and put it in there and shake it up a little bit and see if we can get the rest of this stuff undone. Pea gravel I'm using is kind of about that big. They say you use aquarium uh, rocks too, but this is cheaper. start shaking it and then we'll come back in a minute. This is what the uh, vinegar looked like when we poured it out of the tank. Uh, you can see it's mostly rust color, it's supposed to be clear. So there was just a lot of garbage in that tank. And you can see the before and after now. So something interesting I just noticed and since it's the first time working on a CL90, I noticed that there are no screws to take the pet cocks off so I read up on it and I did it and I'm just gonna re-show you real quick so if you unscrew the the bowl that's it now. unscrew the bowl you pull this little screen out there's a Phillips screwdriver or Phillips screw right there that you pull the pet cock off with, which is good to know. I'll go ahead and do that now. Something else that I noticed after I put everything on was the uh, new pet cock from Too Fast Moto or something like that from eBay. It doesn't have the, the port right here for the equalizing of the both sides of the tank. This is the stock one. As you can see, it has the 
the port on it and you're supposed to hook two tubes up to it. This one has the spot for it, but you have to drill the hole out and put a tap in there and all that stuff. So all I'm gonna do is right here, I'm just gonna connect it with a T instead. On this side, of the, on the upper side of the fuel filter, of course. So as of this point, uh, for the fuel sp system specifically, we've done new carb, new filter, new fuel filter, new fuel lines. We took the gas tank off, put white vinegar in it, let it sit for 72 hours, 24 hours on each side. Um, and then also I put a new peg cock on. Um, all of those things will be listed where I got them from in the, uh, con or in the description with the cost of each. Um, but like I said, this is just for the fuel system. I still need to do the electrical so we can have spark and maybe we can try to start it on our next video.